actually the creativity happens when you're driving and you see a shape, a form, you read a newspaper, you cut out a piece, a clipping. I mean, this morning I saw the Hubble on, on, uh, in the New York Times, the most wonderful photographs of the Hubble. I immediately clipped them out. I may never use them, but it's just feeding your vocabulary. For over 40 years, artist Sheila Elias has been on the move in search of inspiration. She's worked in Chicago, Los Angeles, New York, and Miami. Her paintings, collages, sculptures, photos, and other works have been exhibited in museums and galleries around the world. Sheila continues to work with her typical intensity and drive in her North Miami studio. Being an artist, you're always kicked out of studios. You are constantly kicked out of your studio every few years because the landlord takes over and uh, you've fixed it up so nicely or the neighbor becomes gentrified. I mean, look at Soho now. It's like when I first wanted to move to Soho, it was so serious where they were shooting outside of my loft for years. Director of the FIU Frost Art Museum, Carol Damian, has known and admired Sheila Elias for many years. She sees her art as being very personal, almost as if you can see her whole life in the work. This is her personality in here. She does great things with women and the image of women. She likes glitter and sparkle. It's really fun and it's, it's sort of that glamorous element that's quirky, that's creative, that's really very much a part of her personality as well. There's no doubt that the painting of the 60s and the 70s when New York was really in its heyday and painting and the actual application of paint and how you paint is very much a part of her work. I really love painting and I love paint. <laughs> And I love going to museums and the knowledge I have about art history. And, and uh, traveling, all I really do travel is to go to museums and galleries. I'm an art addict. Those who work closely with Sheila Elias also become inspired by her. It was really stunning to me. It really impressed me how she actually conceptualized all these ideas into one piece of canvas, I would say, or a piece of board, and to know that it was coming from this little lady, you know, she's like small and mighty, it just really impressed me. And then I started seeing her earlier work, I would say, and it's just amazing how she's transformed her ideas. Sometimes you may think, yes, they're very energetic and abstract, but then again, they're very deep, they're very emotional and full of life even though some may seem chaotic. It's just always um, enlightening in a way. I always feel a sense of hope when I see her work. The screen that I did with the do not cross the line and the ropes and the measure, measuring tapes, those works were about measuring your life and constricting you with ropes and do not cross the line. They were not about 9-11, they were done two years before. They were prior to 9-11. So when people see them now, they say, oh, those works are from 9-11. They were not done then. 9-11 had not happened at that point. It's a great internship. I've really learned a lot about, you know, how to, how to help somebody run a business. And um, it's helped me to decide what I want to do. Peter Frank, the critic, years ago said about my work, I have the insouciant guts to paint about the optimism of life. And of course, there's a lot of negative things, but I am really a glass half full person. And I think we're gonna be okay. Oh, I always, in my, I can't really always say, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy when I get, I'm not a fool. I don't get up in the morning and say, oh, there's an implosion and explosion and sadness that uh, it's all delight. I read all those articles. I'm hopeful though about our universe. Sheila Elias's work is currently on exhibit at the Coral Springs Museum of Art. The show is called Somewhere, Anywhere. I think her art has a lot of sustainability. I mean, she's gone through stages. Her early art was heavier, more collage, but always had the human figure involved. And she's um, continued that 
And she always has a social theme, which makes it unique to her work. And it's always been a progression of where we are in time, whether it's the 60s, the 70s, the 80s, the 90s. And so her work, her work just sustains the human image and condition. I think you can't live on this earth without evolving and growth and aging. And uh, uh, you're, I have a vocabulary. I actually sometimes look back at pieces, I, early pieces, and I'm still using the same alphabet, but I'm more sophisticated with that alphabet. The visual and mental uh, uh, vocabulary has to change. Otherwise, you have arrested development. And there are artists that are successful doing the same image their entire life. Um, I'm not one of them. More information about Sheila Elias is available at SheilaElias.com. The preceding program was a production of WLRN Public Television.